for $20. Ooh, his head is very limp. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here in Marion, Illinois at Warehouse Antique Mall. So we're gonna head on inside and see what we can find. I'm excited. For resale. <laughs> Ooh, this is Santa doing, saying boo. Does it think it's like Halloween time? Mm -hmm. This is a hard plastic Rossbro candy container though. I haven't seen that one before. And they've got $15 on it. And I say Rossbro, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any other, it could be another brand, but Rossbro, Rossbro is attributed to making a lot of these hard plastic candy containers. Isn't that so cute? Now the music doesn't work and it's got like, you know, it's kind of separating, but for $10, it is really cute. That seems good though. It's um, made by Mattel. Well. Huh. They enjoyed themselves. Yeah. I think it's a good I'll thing. I'll have to think about that. I haven't seen it before. Oh, yes. This is the booth with all of the Fenton and stuff. 25% off on the Fenton. And then they also have this left in here for 95 There's the butter dish, the sugar and the creamer, and the little egg cup. Oh, I like those are adorable. 95 for the just the butter dish, and then the others are separate. Are Russian cool. dressing. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. I wonder who made that. Russia. It says copyright 1960 MF or no M dash G ink. It's $45 or rubles. This is really good. Here's a toothpick holder, but it is a beautiful art glass toothpick holder for $10. And it has the Latticino Italian ribbonine in there. It has the smooth down pontal. This is good quality stuff. This is from Italy and it's very, very pretty. You can see that the nice like little uh, copper flecks in there, shiny and shimmery. Oh boy, it's a toothpick holder. That's so good. I like it a lot, $10. They have some other, these are not, these are more in line with EAPG toothpick holders, but a lot of them are reproduction from the uh, you know, 60s, 70s. There could be some that are a little older. This one just says Joe St. Clair. So that's a Joe St. Clair slag glass footed toothpick holder. And this blue one, I don't see a marking. It could be, that could be Fenton actually, this one, the blue. And then there's this other, this is more of like an amberina coloring. That's lovely. And this one, this one, doesn't have a mark on it. This one could be EAPG. That one right there. Boyd Glass, B-O-Y-D, did a lot of um, reproductions of these two. So sometimes it's difficult to know, but that's all right. Here we have a couple pieces of Snowberry Roseville, $35 for the set of candlestick holders. Those are cool. And some dishes. Wow, that's a lot of grapes over there. Look at all these grapes. And they're loose sight. Looks like they're appropriately priced. $60, $60, $60, $60. What do you think? $60? You think? $60? No, $65. You little stinger. Actually, this one's cool. It has like fleck in there. It, it's like it's like pearl pearlescent. Okay, mythical. Oh my gosh. Mythical fairy terrarium. Where the hell are the up. fairies? It lights up. Are they? Maybe you have to put your fairies. In. Bring your own fairies. One sixty. Well, that's so cool. It's I guess it's a paint by number. It's on kind of well that is paint I guess it almost was like fabricy for a second yeah. It's warped. It's messed up yeah. It's but only it's ten dollars but no, I won't. Whoa. Goodness oh. gracious. Oh, this is cool. $160. I have a blue one of these I need to sell. And all the, and all of the blow molds. <laughs> I just had a funny thought about blow molds, why they might be called blow molds, because they blow around your yard. I had to go get my coat. It's so cold in there. Okay, let's continue. Well, I spotted this really awesome glass tree 
and it's only five dollars. This is blown. This is not from a mold or anything. That's really pretty. I like the branches on it too. They kind of just like stick out like that. Too bad you can't buy it. I'm gonna. You said you weren't. I can't let you. I'm doing it. It's five dollars. I can't not. We'll keep it for yourself. For a bit. For a <laughs> bit. Maybe next year I'll sell it. All right, now we're gonna head upstairs. And I'm, I'm hoping it's like nice and warm up here. You know, the <laughs> physics, heat rises. What? It's a theme park? It's a oh, it's a Santa. Oh, wow. 88, that's a little bit much for his condition. That's sad. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be time. Why does he have tape hanging from his hand? I don't know. Maybe it's so the bottle won't fall off. Oh, probably. Could be. He's a little plastered, he needs help with it. Okay, well, this is done up really well. They've got lots of bohemian type items, the 1970s era, and then Christmas. Here's a dream pet, I think. Looks like one, oops, looks like a dream pet. Green, okay, so it's Dakin, Dakin for $20. Ooh, his head is very limp. That's the limpest thing I've ever seen. It's $20, it can't, he can't even hold it up. I'm gonna make, I'll make an offer if they do that, but it won't be a super high offer, so. <laughs> Maybe 50? I was thinking 55. Okay. It's, I mean, but they've already marked it down, but. Yeah, I but mean, you should just tell them, hey, I'm Barb. <laughs> I, I, I know what I'm doing. It's not that one never sells for that amount in this shape, though. Yeah. So if they want to hold out for it, you know, they can. They're holding out for a hero. Yep. All right, so we've got Sears Roebuck Neil the Frog here, and this is the sugar canister, bloop, and creamer, and salt pepper. Those are always fun. Neil. Neil. Oh, that's a pretty tin. That's very Christmassy. I like these old tins. This is probably made in England. Maybe also Daher or Dayer. Let's find out. It is container made in Western Germany. And I don't know who did it because it doesn't say on the stamp. Six dollars. Hey, yo, oh, hey. That's not bad at all. Six dollars. That's pretty. I like that a lot. I should probably do it, because, you know. I think. Uh-huh. I'm going to go down there. I can take it down there for you if you All want. All right. Well, there's also this one with the shiny bright. Let's see about what this one is. Five dollars? You're kidding yourself. That's really not a bad thing at all. I'm not going to do it. But I hope somebody else does. I like what I've got. I do like that a lot. So I guess you're gonna find, we'll find out later about your Santa. Hopefully. And we'll look at that. How much are these things going for these days? I'm gonna say that they should have priced this about $5. Let's see. $5. Boy, I'm good. I should make a YouTube channel. I should have a whole reselling business. I love this. Look at that. It's one of these collapsible shades. And it's, it's beautiful blue. Oh, it's marked down from, from 95 to 60. Venetian blind. Oh, okay, cool. You just need a cord that you pull and it goes. Roo. So that's really fun. I feel like there should be a figure here, maybe an Asian figurine here and here. Yeah, pretty sure. But you could do that <laughs> or, or not. Don't do that. It looks stupid. But you could get a better figurine and put it there. You could really do whatever you want. Like the world is your oyster. You could get your favorite little things and stick them on there. Isn't this pretty? Now I don't know if it's Johnson Brothers or not because there's not markings on it, but it does look like that. The way that they have their transferred on designs and the colors sort of br brushed on haphazardly. But oh, that's so pretty. Those mugs, it's a whole set of 12 cups and saucers for, t for $12. Or no, it's a set of eight for twelve dollars there we go it's so pretty though i like those patterns those are really fun is this a hamper or is it a trash can thirteen dollars fifty oh it's a hamper oh what is that it's a hamper oh wow it's for your ham <laughs> no uh i wonder okay so the inside looks more pink 
like on the bottom especially. You can't hardly tell on this cut with the color here. Okay, it's more of like a bubblegummy pink, and then on the outside it's more of like a like a lighter pink. So I guess it faded over time. Which is sad. Huh. I kind of want a camper now. I think you could. Except you just can't fit that many gloves. Could you use it for like, let's see, what um you use it for Stuff. It's so cute. I love the little design on the front. Yeah. Hamp, hamp, hampers, and all the things. <laughs> Got hiccups apparently out of nowhere. <laughs> well, you don't see stuff like that so much. I kind of want to, I should probably do that. I could be that person. I like it. I could delight myself. I like the design of that, but. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think. You don't think. I, don't, I mean, I don't feel what like don't you think? brass things. How we much? haven't been doing that well. Twelve fifty. Well, it's. I like it a lot, and I haven't seen it before. Yeah. If you are adventurous, I would tell you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No. Is okay. it rockable? Is it? No, it sits still. Why do you want to rock your candle? I, I don't, but it looked like it would, and I was like, oh. just checking. That'd be fun on a cruise ship if it rocked around. <laughs> this. This here. Yeah. They're new in package. $12.50. Sure this is for a oh, full size fitted. Well, that's not good. That's a terry cloth. Kind of cute. And the other one is who knows what. But full size fitted? No. We need flat. Here's a full size flat. Actually, but full size is no good. And that that pattern isn't the most I I don't like it. Yeah. Somebody else can like it, not me. Well, I'm gonna get my hamper. I'm very excited about this. Smooth is 50% off. I don't remember it. I think this is all new stuff I or think something. So. You can get a whole bag of ornaments uh, for what would that be like $375? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 50% off. I don't know. There's a poodle planter. That'd be $6. Oh my, cover up, guy. <laughs> well, that's peaceful. It's like I'm really there. $95 has light and sound. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got. That's a pretty one. I like that blue. $24 for this open lace in the light blue, the bowl here. And that green is lovely as well. That's 12, that vase little bud vase type thing. All right, back down the stairs and there's another wing that we need to go check out. I'll drop my basket off, my, I mean my hamper. My hamper, oh, I like that little cabinet. It's cute. I don't think it's too, I don't think it's that old. Somebody painted it kind of silver looking, but I like the size of it. It's very adaptable. Oh, and all these blue molds. So there's, I still love, this is, I, this she's a hundred for that gal. That's that wife. One ninety-five for the sleigh and reindeer. Yeah, it's pretty large, and you don't see that one too often. I kind of like that poster too. Ten dollars yeah. with that man in the, in the sky there. I don't oh. think it's old, do you? Probably not. I don't think it's that old. No. Okay. Well, let's drop this off. Oh, they got the pair of soldiers. And all the fall scrap in the Yorktown, which is very collectible. People, you know, people pass that stuff down and, and all the things. Oh, and they have all these too. I'm not gonna get them, but they are the tabletop foldable picture frames. And these are would have been like low cost given out by the photography studios. They're basically just chipboard, which is like that, that thicker paper. And then they fold in a way that holds them up Holds them up like a little triangle. And they're pretty cool. I like them a lot because they have all different frames. And it's just pressed, pressed board. Lots of Art Deco designs. And there's even more here, all different kind of pictures. Okay, well, we'll put this up front and go check out the last wing that we need to see. This is pretty. 
It kind of reminds me of Joe St. Clair art glass, just with the way that it has like the bubbles in it and stuff. But it is $20 and um, it's a vase. I don't know. I'm kind of on the, on the edge about it. It's from 1988. It's signed. But it's green and I like that about it. I don't really see a lot of green. I think I'm going to do it. I just, I talk myself into things really easily sometimes. And that's bad, but it's also good. It's a really nice, you're petting it. It's, it's a, a very, peacock TV lamp. I like it. What do you, nice. oh yeah, it has a little. Yeah, it's 125. Little knob between its legs. What? 125? Uh-huh. I mean, I don't see them. No. Is there a, what do, what do we think it says on the bottom? Okay. Where's this, is it plugged? It's gotta be plugged. Oh, it's back there. I don't wanna. Gotta be careful with the cord. Mm, okay, so. It is. It, oh, ho it's Holland oh. Mold. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Because I, I, I feel like I've seen this guy before. So maybe it's without... someone just made it into the lamp. Maybe. And it's usually not. Because I, I was going to say, I don't remember ever seeing it where there was like yeah. lights in it. Yeah. It's cool. This is, this is a nice area of the mall. They have all this like boho, 1960s, 70s, wood, tropical. Ooh. That is a piece of Francoma, I think. Maybe I'm stupid, hold on. No, it's not. This is original by Jeannie something bra. It kind of looked like Francoma from a distance. Oh, it does. Yeah, $15, I like the blue. There's a cute little Scotty set. Oh yeah, and the gumball machine. And they have the swizzle sticks of the Scotties. So cute. These are known as low ball glasses whenever you find them and they have kind of a thicker base, shorter drinking glasses. And your ice bucket with tongs. I like this. This might be Fostoria. It doesn't say. It reminds me of Fostoria. It just says Amberina Vase, $65. It's not marked. It's so pretty. Nice face. Now these are fun canisters. This is Treasure Craft and they are $45 for the entire set. It's made to look like wood, but they have the flour, the sugar, the tea, and the coffee ornate lids. And then they have also the colorful uh, fruits in there, which is awesome. Oh, and these are cool too. They're like little pottery redware mugs for um, $15. This is a really cool lamp. It's a floor lamp and it is made with the the uh, spun plastic. I think. My mind is making a blank. Fiberglass? No, no. Acrylic? Oh, uh, what do you call What do you call that? It's 175. They just have mid-century modern lamp on it. Huh. Um Lucite? Yeah, I was thinking lucite or acrylic. Yeah, I just spun acrylic? I'm thinking it's spun something. It's not fiberglass, this is plastic. It's dusty, but it's plastic. Hmm. Well, we have some Franciscan starbursts here. I just love this pattern. It has these atomic starbursts, very popular. And there's like this little guy here. That's for your gravy. I like that one. That looks like Van Brickle, kind of. Yeah. With, with the shape and everything. Might be Van Brickle. And there's a Wallace Nutting for $25, that little postcard size print there. Let's see what this one is. That we do not know because I can't read it, but you know what it looks like to me? It looks like somebody got a hold of a Van Briggle and then they painted it. This one yeah. looks like somebody had fun with it. I don't know. I don't know about that. This is pretty. Early N Nilok Mission Swirl Arts and Crafts Space. Nilok, N-I-L-O-A-K. That is kaolin, spelled backwards. Kaolin is a part of the making of this. It's the clay. So it's kind of a word play. Nyla, or Nyloke. So that's exciting. And there's this one here. Bohemian overlay. I love that. Opalescent. And then a few swung bases. This purple one is 45 for the purple. And there's also the bittersweet swung for 95. I'm not a fan of the handle. Of, of what? That handle this? on that. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, it's an, so all handles that are blown like this, are they have applied handles, so they can be any, they don't have to be the same color, but um, 450. Wow, thank you. 
That's quite, that's quite, that's quite a piece of Fenton. Oh, there's a really pretty piece back there. You see it with the green and the blue swirl? I like that. Springy dingy ding, ding dong. I like it. Look at this. I got myself a hamper. <laughs> so we found some interesting stuff here at the antique mall and I guess we'll wrap it up on this cold day. So, oh, that's right. So they I forgot. came back. They had it at price at 88. I said, um, would they do 60 and they came back at 75, which if I didn't buy that um, tree earlier, which is on a different video, I might have, but that's still a little much because I, I just but for example, I just bought one on eBay for 50 that I liked a little bit more than that. So it's not that it's not worth 75. It's just if you wait around, you can kind of find some deals. If I look, each one is different. So Every if I Santa. loved that one enough for 75, I would have bought it. Yes. Every Santa has a personality. <laughs> so she says. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.